Hi everybody. Today we're going to take a look at how you can monitor a JRuby on Rails application using Visual VM. I've got a simple application here with a very trivial controller. I'll just be using the hello action here, which does nothing. Uh, I've also made a configuration change to the production environment to enable Rails thread safe mode, which came along in Rails 2.2, and it's the way we recommend most people run JRuby on Rails applications if, if all your libraries will fit well enough into a thread safe environment. I'm going to be running with the Trinidad server, which is by David Calavera. It's a, basically a Tomcat server embedded in a little command, so you can just start it up and run whatever application. And we're running it in thread safe mode. While that's booting, I'll start Visual VM. Uh, on most systems where Java is installed, it should look basically like this. You'll have jvisualvm as a command, and it'll start up and give a window that looks mostly like what you see here. And you can see there's a list of processes. Uh, let's see if our app is up. Okay, just about there. Wait another couple seconds, and it should be fully booted and ready to go. An important thing about thread safe mode is this is now a production server. You don't have to run multiple instances or do a reverse proxy on a bunch of them. This is an entire application. Uh, we'll curl it to make sure that it's actually functional. Uh, looks like it's working. All right, so we'll bounce over to Visual VM now. As you saw before, here's the basic user interface you get, list of Java processes on the side, will connect up to our running Trinidad instance. You can see there's lots of ways you can monitor the application. Uh, you can monitor the heap, you can trigger GCs, you can monitor CPU usage, uh, see how many threads are, are running, how many classes have been loaded. Uh, very easy to, to get a, a general overview of the system this way. You can also take a heap dump. Uh, and what the heap dump does is actually pull off a listing of all of the objects in memory on that running instance and let you browse them. Now you can see there's byte lists, which we use to back strings. There's Ruby string instances, uh, lots of other objects here. Uh, very easy to start poking around and figure out if there's a memory leak. Uh, the next thing I want to show is the threads pane. In the threads pane, you can see all the threads that have been started up by the JVM and threads that have been started from Ruby and see what they're doing at any given time. The cool thing I just came across recently is a Visual GC plugin. The Visual GC plugin actually shows what the GC is doing with all of its different memory spaces. So let's actually load this down and see what happens to these different monitoring tabs. I'm using AB here. We're going to hit it for 100,000 requests, 20 at a time. And again, there's no need for an additional process. Now you can see that where it was kind of sitting, sitting idle before, now the different heaps are very busy. Uh, CPU usage is obviously non-zero, uh, and the GC is running. The heap is going up and down a lot more rapidly as the garbage collection is firing. Uh, and you can see there's the two original HTTP threads we have here, but there's also a whole bunch of additional HTTP threads that have been spun up to handle all those rec concurrent requests, uh, all within the same process.